In this video, I'll be working through the question you see on the screen from the Pure Maths Paper 3, specifically Paper 3-1 from Cambridge A-Level exams from 2024. If you're looking for any other question from this paper, you should find a playlist in the description below. And if you're looking for any other paper, look around on my channel. I'll be doing all this on a whiteboard, hopefully just like you're used to your teacher doing. But of course, this isn't the classroom, we're on YouTube, so go ahead and take advantage of that. Pause, rewind, watch at 2x speed, whatever you find useful. If you find any of my videos useful, uh, I would appreciate like, subscribe, or sharing it with someone else doing the A-level exams. In question 11, they give us a story, which I'll read through in a moment, uh, but basically it comes down to giving us this differential equation. Now part A is gonna ask us to try and find this ourselves, show where this came from. Uh, but then after that in part B, we're basically gonna solve that. That'll be the bigger part of the question. Okay, part A though, um, they the story they tell us, there's a field with uh, 300 plants in it. Uh, and every one of these plants can be infected by a disease. After a time t, the first plant is, infect is infected and we'll call that x. So x is the number of plants infected. And uh, the rate of change of x is proportional to what I'm about to say here. Now this is a question that I expect a younger student, IGS, IGSE student to be able to do, but a lot of A-level students forgot what, they're, what to do here. The first thing uh, more A-level is the rate of change of x. When you see rate of change of x, that's how much d is changed, how much does x change, and uh, we're, we're talking about time nearly all the time, especially if they don't say anything. The change of t with respect to time. I just noticed I have uh, this wrong up here. This should be dx uh, dt up here. Okay, they tell us that this is proportional so we write proportional like this um, to the product, that's multiply, the product of the number of plants, so that's x, x is the number of plants, the product of that um, multiplied by the number of plants not infected. So how many plants aren't infected? x are infected, so let's say that's 10. How many are not infected? Well, there's 300 total, 300 minus 10. Um, or more, uh, more uniformly, it'd be 300 minus x. That's how many are not um, are not infected. And this is uh, the main part of the question. Um, they then tell us some numbers. They tell us uh, dx dt is 0 0.2 when, and, and x is equal to 1 when time is 0, so the starting time. Um, okay, so how do we turn this into an equation? How do we turn proportional into an equals? That's really what you're being asked to remember here. And we do that by this, uh, dx dt is equal to this, uh, x multiplied by 300 minus x, if we multiply it by something, just some number, uh, a number we don't know yet. So we'll just make up a letter, usually a is fine. So this is equal to this. And this is the same as equation as up here, except we just don't know what a is yet. So we just have to solve a, but that's good because we know at time zero, at time zero, this is actually equal to 0 0.2. We know at time zero, x is actually equal to one. So x is one, uh, 300 minus one, that's two, nine, nine. So we can just solve for a. a is just equal to 0 0.2 over two, nine, nine. And if we put that into a calculator, we'll find out that's the same as 1 over 1, 4, 9, 5, which is where this number comes in. So if we write this equation one more time, uh, we would get uh, d dx dt is equal to 1 over 4, uh, 1, 4, 9, 5, multiplied by x, multiplied by 300 minus x. And that's, uh, oh, we need to multiply this by both sides. 1495 and we get the equation they started off with. That's two marks, they just wanted to make sure we had that. We're gonna to need to use this in part B. They just, as an extra question, they asked us this. Okay, let me clean this off and we'll do the much longer part B. Okay, on to part B and uh, we basically need to solve this differential equation. They tell us a bit more information. They tell us the answer has to have a single logarithmic 
and then um, they give us a clue that we need to use partial fractions somewhere in this question. But anyway, how do we start off solving a differential equation, a simple differential equation? We rearrange it so the dx and the dt are each on their own sides. So if we do that, um, and we want all the x's on the same side. So we'll leave d dx on uh, the top on the left, and we move all the x's over with it. And we'll put dt on the right with all the t's. Now there's no t's in this case, so it's a little easier. And um, so that'll leave us with uh, 1495 over x divided by 300 minus x is equal, oh sorry, dx then is equal to dt. So, um, oh actually my notes, uh, I've moved this over um, this side. It doesn't matter, you could leave that over here or you could uh, do it over this side. All the x's just have to be with the dx, all the t's, and there is no t's in this case. Numbers can go anywhere they want. Okay, so we're left um, with something now we can solve. We can just integrate both sides. We can integrate this side with respect to t, x, integrate this side with respect to t, and we'll end up getting a solution out. That's what I'm gonna be doing here. The problem is integrating this is, um, is a bit difficult. How do we do it? And that's where their clue comes in. A lot of students might have got stuck here, except they gave us the clue that they wish use partial fractions. So instead of this sum, uh, one over x times 300 minus x, we're gonna use partial fractions on that. We're gonna split this into, up into two different questions. And um, partial fractions will look like this, uh, a something over x plus um, something over 300 minus x. And we just need to find what a and b is. So this is a question within this question. And um, we do that, we multiply this side out cross multiply here, we'd end up with 300a, that's 300 multiplied by a, minus ax, minus x by a, uh, plus bx, bx, all over uh, the common denominator is x times 300 minus x. Now this still equals this original thing, and this is where we can solve a and b. Um, there's no x's up the top row, so these x's that have appeared here um, need to disappear. So this uh, minus ax plus bx, they must add up to equal zero. Divide everything by x, that must mean that, uh, let's see, we write b first, b minus a must equal zero. Rearrange this, that means b equals a. So uh, whatever we find out a is, b is as well. So that's, uh, that's one half of a simultaneous equation. Uh, the other bit of information we have here is everything without an x, 300a, must equal everything without an x here, which is one. So we also know 300a must equal one. That's simple, a is equal one over 300. So instead of this question, um, instead of uh, even this one up here, I can put in, so instead of one over x multiplied by 300 minus x, we can put in, uh, one, 1 over 300 uh, over x plus um, 1 over 300 over 300 minus x. And that'll be a little easier to integrate. So let me uh, clean this off and I'm gonna replace, I'm gonna replace this part, this part with, um, I guess, uh, 1 over 300 multiplied by this part. Okay, replacing this left side with that partial fraction gets me this, one, one over 300 went to the both of them, so I brought it outside, and in fact, I'll even multiply across by 300. And 300 will disappear from here, and appear over, over here. Now we have two integrations, so we can go ahead and integrate both sides, integrate both sides, and these are something we can do. This side's gonna be trivial, uh, this side will split into two integrals. That'll be the integral of one over x uh, dx, plus the integral of one over 300 minus x, dx, and uh, the left side will just equal, well this is, yeah again, this is trivial, just what I've wrote here, uh, dt. This is the only hard integral. This integral is very simple. It's in our, um, it's one of our standard integrals. It just becomes the uh, natural log. The natural log of x would be the answer here. This one's a little harder, although I won't spend, we'd have to use a bit of substitution. U is equal 300 minus X. 
Um, I'm not going to do that. It's done substitution a lot of times in this exam. We go ahead and do this one in our head. It's not too difficult. It's just going to be natural log of what's on the bottom. And we just need to adjust by the derivative of it. I'll, I'll do that in a moment. And this one's just going to be add a t onto it. It's just the integral of a common number. So let's do that up here. First one, the integral of that is the natural log of x. And uh, we're going to have a plus c, a plus c, a, d a different plus c, like all different constants. They'll all add into one big constant. I'll put one big constant at the end of all this. Um, you can do lots of little constants, but they all add together to one constant. Uh, the next one here is going to be plus the natural log of 300 minus x, except we're cheating. We're substituting this in. And to fix that substitution, I deriv uh, get the derivative of 300 minus x, which is minus 1. And I'm going to end up dividing this by minus 1. So that really just uh, becomes a minus here. And that all equals 300 over 1495 times t. That's, that's the integral of the right side. But there was loads of constants appeared, so we better add in one big constant to all that. Okay, that's it. Uh, you're nearly finished. Um, you'll get a good few marks for this. They, they wanted all the logarithmics put together, so you would probably gain a mark by doing that. But the big, uh, probably two or three marks that you're still missing is, what's c? We, we don't want c in our answer, we want to find out what c is. So to do that, we must remember that when, when t equals zero, um, x equals uh, one. Yeah, we don't need dt in this one. So that's a, so a bit of information they gave us right up the top. So we can put all that in and solve for c. This is the starting point. At the starting point, we know lots of things and c won't change, it's constant the whole way through. So if I put all this in, natural log of 1 is 0. Well, let me just fill out some of this. Uh, natural log of 1 is 0 minus natural log of 299. That's just a, a 1 now. And that equals t is 0. So that equals 0. I'll put 0 plus c. So c simply equals minus natural log of 299. So if I write the whole thing again, except this time, let's put the... Put the natural logs together because they asked us that. Uh, natural logs, when we take away, they just end up dividing inside. So these two combine to get the natural log of x divided by 300 minus x. And that equals 300 over 1495. Um, and c is minus natural log of 299. Nine. Oh yeah, they want uh, all the natural logs together. Now I'd argue maybe they only meant natural logs of x, because you can just put this in a calculator and put it in decimal place, but no, let's put all the natural logs properly together. Um, when we, if we move this over the equals, it becomes a plus. Nat two natural logs adding are just like multiplying. So this 299 multiplies into here. So this uh, combines to get 299x over 300 minus x. Um, is equal 300 over 1495 times uh, t. I left the t out up here, my bad. And I'm sorry, they want, uh, they want t on its own. They want the, the final answer to be an expression of t. So let's multiply both sides by 1495. 1495. Let's divide both sides by 300. Then I was just checking my notes, and of course, uh, you put this in a calculator, you'll find it actually goes down a bit smaller than that. It goes down to uh, 299 over 60 is this, and then I'll just write this in again, natural log 299x over 300 minus x. That'd be the final answer I'd give, but I, I'm fairly sure you get full marks for that. Um, if you have any follow-up questions about anything I did there, uh, let me know in the comments or point out any mistakes I made. It's all, always helpful to me. Um, uh, thank you for watching and have a good day.